I was in charge of a lot of, of programs for hundreds of thousands of students. Among other, other things, I started the first for-profit online university outside of the US in Europe. And that's where I learned how powerful online learning can be. We had students from all over the world. They kept their job, they stayed with their families, and still got this great European education. So, but while having this great success, deep inside, I felt uncomfortable. Because for most people, this great education was nothing but a wishful thinking. It was too expensive. Well, I ended up selling this university and the rest of my business to go into semi-retirement. Just to realize that it's not really for me to retire. I wanted to continue. But it was also clear to me that I do not want to do more of the same. Can you hear me? Yeah. OK. It was clear to me that I do not want to do more of the same. I'm fortunate. I have enough. It's my turn now to give back. And if I want to give back, I want to do it in a way that will have an impact on the world. And for me, having impact on the world is only through education. Because, think about it. If you educate one person, you can change a life. But if you educate many, you can change the world. So I looked around and I realized that everything that is needed to cut down the cost of higher education was available and for free. Open educational resources. Open educational resources. Content that professors produce and put online for the rest of the world to use for free open source technology that is free for everyone to use, and the new internet culture of social networking, where people share, teach, and learn from each other for free. All I had to do was to put it all together. So I did, and I created University of the People. We have started three years ago. And we have started three years ago. And let me give you a few facts three and a half years ago. And let me give you a few facts of where we are. We have accepted so far. We have accepted so far over 1,500 students from 136 countries. From the United States to the United Arab Emirates. From Indonesia to Micronesia. From South Sudan to Afghanistan actually from every corner of the universe. We have for these 1,500 uh, students, 3,000 volunteering professors. If you, I don't know if you've noticed, but we have about two professors for each student. That's a regular ratio for every university, right? And look where these, these volunteers are coming from. Our president council, chaired by uh, John Sexton, the president of NYU, consists of the vice, the vice chancellor of uh, Oxford, the rector of the Academy of Paris, the director of um, IIT Mumbai, the president of uh, George Washington University, the president of Barnard, and the president of RISD. Our uh, president, uh, our provost team is from Columbia University. Our deans are from NYU. And our top academic leadership are coming from the best universities of the world. Harvard, Yale, MIT, Stanford, Michigan, just name it. We, um, we are partner with Yale Law School for research, for NYU, to accept our students like Georgian uh, to continue their studies with NYU Abu Dhabi. And we are partner with, um, with HP for general support to the university, for internship, mentorship, and scholarship for our students. We are associated with uh, the United Nations, UNESCO, Clinton Global Initiative, um, Ashoka, and many others. And 
we had over a thousand articles about us spreading the word of the university, telling the world, and we were on the New York Times, CNN, ABC, Guardian, just name it. We actually were invited to speak in, top, um, in the top conferences of the world from the World Economic Forum, Clinton Global Initiative, TED, and many others. And uh, last but not least, we have over 1,200,000 supporters on Facebook. Actually, we are the second largest university in the world on Facebook after Harvard which means that we are number two. We should try harder, right? <laughs> um, well, <coughs> looking at all these great achievements and all that we have done in the last three years, one should realize that it is beyond wisdom and hard work. Yes, I had the idea. Yes, I had the experience. But everything was there. All the ingredients were out there. All I had to do was to put it together. And because it was a great idea at the right time, the media grabbed it. The day after I announced the university, the New York Times wrote a page about us. The day after, I had hundreds of emails from professors from all over the world offer to help. Professors who wanted to jump on board, help us to make this dream of, dream of bringing democracy to higher education come true. So remember, if you have, and, and from that point, everything was just happened by itself, almost by itself. So remember, if you have a great idea, at the right time, if you succeed in drawing the attention of the world and convince people to join you with your idea, the rest, will come by itself. We offer only business administration and computer science. Our students come to us in order to have a better chance for their future. For that very reason, we only offer business administration and computer science, because these two degrees are the likeliest to help our students find a job, because these two degrees are the most in demand worldwide. But you should also remember that the students that we have are not typical students. We have a survivors of, a, we have survivors of the a, genocide in Rwanda. We have refugees from Sudan. We have survivors of the earthquake in Haiti. And we have people who barely make, make living. So our students are coming to us because we are the opportunity to them. We are the opportunity for those who have no other opportunity. So because our students, many of them are coming from hardship, we want to make sure that we give them what they need in order to succeed. So we put our students in small classroom of 20 to 30 students to make sure that those of them who need personalized attention get it. Every time they take a course, every time they take a course, it's 10 weeks long. A program, BA, we teach for BA and, and associate degree. BA is 40 <coughs> courses. Every time they take a course, course is 10 weeks long. When they go into the classroom, obviously the virtual classroom, they meet 20 to 30 students like themselves and they see their profile. And the profile might be like very similar to Facebook. It might be your entire life history with video of your cat, but it might be only your name. So they, they meet the, the profile of their uh, fellow students, the 20 to 30 students that are part of this classroom, and with them, they spend the next 10 weeks. Every week, when they go into the classroom, they find there the lecture notes of the week, the reading assignment of the week, the homework assignment of the week, and the discussion question. And the discussion question is the core of our studies. And let me give you an example how it works. Let's say that the first 
Uh, the first student is Chinese, and he is Chinese because every week in our case starts on Thursday and ends on Wednesday. And Thursday morning starts first in China. The morning starts earlier in China, so let's say that the first student is Chinese and he goes into the classroom, he sees the lecture notes, he reads the lecture note, the, the reading assignment, he sees the discussion question and he decides to respond. And he puts his own original contribution toward the class discussion. The second student is from Saudi Arabia. She does the same, she reads everything, she sees what the Chinese said, and she decides to comment on what the Chinese says. And the third student, a few hours later, wakes up in the US, and he does the same. He reads what the Chinese said, what the Saudi Arabian said, and he decides to comment on them. The Chinese is very likely to go back into the class to see what other people said about his own point, and the discussions start develop. All week long, there is a discussion between our students, the 20 to, 20 to 30 students, discussing between themselves the topic of the week, under the supervision of the instructor, instructor. Every week, every student is expected to have at least one original contribution to the class discussion, at least five times to comment on what other people say. So the discussion developed between them and the role of the instructor is to read everything that is going on in the classroom and to get involved. If someone asks a question and nobody is able to answer, if someone said something wrong and need to be corrected, or maybe he or, the, or a student find it appropriate to have a private discussion outside of the classroom. So all week long this discussion is being, is being uh, evolved. By the end of the week, the students take a quiz to make sure that they master the, the material of the week. They hand in their homework, get a grade, move to the next week. Nine weeks in a row, by the tenth week, they take a proctored exam, get a grade, move to the next course. We should remember that it's very, very, it's not, it's not easy. While it's very, very uh, interactive and students enjoy it very much, it's not easy. It's 15 to 20 hours per week per course that they're taking. It's a lot, it's a lot of work. However, we do not use audio, we do not use video, and we do not, when nothing is, and it's not synchronous. We want to make sure that any student from any part of the world with any internet connection can study with us. And we have students who study from internet cafe, we have students who study obviously from home or from your office, but we also have students who use USB, going to Internet Cafe, download the material from the class, go home, work on their computer where they don't have an internet connection, go back to the Internet Cafe, upload what they did. So we have very creative students, but we want to make sure that any connectivity our students have, they can study with us. In order to be admitted, students need to have high school diploma, they need to be proficient in English, their English should be good enough, and they need internet connection. But it is our mission that students who meet our standards, high school diploma, English, and internet connection, can be accepted. It is our mission that nobody would be left behind. We are tuition free. Using volunteers, using uh, open source technology and open educational resources, we were successful in cutting down almost the entire cost of higher education. All we ask our students to cover is the cost of exams. $100 per end of course exam. They can take our courses. If they want to take the exam to get a grade, we expect them to pay $100 per exam, but even that only if they can afford it. If they cannot afford it, we offer them, if they cannot offer or afford it, we offer them variety of scholarship. We're working very hard to make sure that our students who cannot afford even the $100 per exam will have enough scholarship 
to enable them to study. So HP created a, a women's scholarship fund. Uh, Gabriel Hawawini created a scholarship for students that we feel uh, deserve to get scholarship and the uh, Western Union created scholarship for students from certain countries and these are only a few of our scholarship but for students who cannot afford paying the hundred dollar and do not meet the requirement of this restricted scholarship we build uh, the first ever micro scholarship portal <coughs> and what it is it's a place where our students as I said who cannot afford and cannot get and, and uh, do not meet the requirement of the certain scholarship can go online present their case and ask our supporters to help them reach the amount that they need in order, in order to have enough money for the exam fees. And anyone from our supporters from around the world can donate any amount in order, in order to help them. And anyone, including you, can put any amount, actually, <laughs> definitely you, uh, can put any amount, $5, $10, to help, to help our students. We, we were uh, supported by um, foundations and by individuals who came on board to help us, partner with us, to make us sustainable. So we are supported by the Gates Foundation, the Hewlett Foundation, the Carnegie Mellon Foundation, Kaufman Foundation, Google Foundation, and others, and by individuals su such as uh, John Burbank, John McCall McBain, uh, Sarah Miller McCoon, myself, and others who supported our, uh, our uh, operation. With additional five more million dollars, only five more million dollars, the operation will sustain itself, and not for one year, but forever. All the university needs is five more million dollars to, uh, to have enough money for the operation for, uh, um, for uh, as long as we, as we will operate. And what it is important is that the more money we have, the more students we can, we can take, the faster we can have our impact on the world. Our students come to us, as I mentioned before, in order to have a better chance for their future. For us, there is even a greater <coughs> benefit. Because every time a student takes a class, he's being pu to put together with 20, or 30, 20 to 30 other students. But these 20 to 30 students are coming from 20 to 30 different countries. So they take 40 courses every time, 20 to 30 new students from 20 to 30 new countries. In many cases, these students are coming from hostile countries, countries that are considered to be political enemies. And stop for a second and picture. Picture what happened when a Palestinian, every time he takes a class, he meets a different Israeli. Picture what happened when every time an Indian take a class, she meets a different Pakistani. And every time a Turk takes a class, he or she meets a different Greek. They learn to respect each other, to know, to appreciate, and as I said, to respect each other. Instead of being enemies outside of the class, they become friends. We open their mind. We develop a shift in attitude which is being carried outside of the class. We make the peace in our world a bit closer. Well, this is University of the People. We open the gates to higher education. We open the gates to higher education to everyone. We give our students a better chance for the future. We give the world a better chance for peace. Just imagine what happens when we have a million students walking through these doors. 
Thank you.